What's good, Greg Gang? We're out here on the lake today. Now, not only are we going to try to catch a fish, okay? We're going to try to catch fish today. However, we also have a side objective. That side objective is to catch those fish off the baits in this month's MTB box. But first things first, before we can start fishing, we got to get to where we're fishing. And as of now, I don't know where that is yet. But we're about to find a place. I don't know where we're going to fish, but we are going to fish somewhere. Now that we're here where we want to fish, let's crack open this box and see what we got for this month. And yes, I have done opened it, so yeah, I pretty much cheated. Okay, here's what we got. First thing I see, a lucky crab. Square bill crankbait. I'm actually going to let dad be using that. Over here I got this little Ima, little lipless crankbait. We don't have much grass in this lake, like, at all. So we're probably not going to use this as much. Now this right here is actually what I've been thinking about using. You got a little pack of swim baits right here. A little white swim baits which is perfect for imitating shad. Along with this little flash bait. It's a belly weighted swim bait hook with a feather. So though, not a feather, not a feather but a blade. I I'm going to put these two together. Rig the swim bait on the hook and those two should be going good together imitating a shad right here. Also in the box I got these full size peck of chunks. A full pack right there. Got all of them. Uh, all eight of them. So it's a full pack right there. And then some of the last things in here. Like I said, I've done peaks. So I I already know what it is, but it's setting you up for a Nico rig. Now what a Nico rig is, is it's kind of like a jacked up wacky rig to the weight in the head, and well they set you up perfectly. They got your good worms for a Nico rig, brand new hooks, like these are new to the market hooks for Nico rigs, and then you even got you some weights to put in the head. I'll definitely be using the Nico rig before the day's over, and I'll show you how to rig it whenever I get to then, but as for right now, I'm actually going to put on this flash bang and work the spinner bang. And as for dad, well I'm going to give him the lucky craft. Good catch. That's an expensive one, too. I'll try not to lose it. Try not to. And so this right here is what mine looks like. Just a go swim bait. Got a blade just for, you know, added extras. And here's what it looks in the water. Can y'all see that right there? Paddle's good. Swim's good. That right there looks like two shads going together. Like two shad, you know, maybe broke off the whole school. But, you know, that's definitely a good target. Especially with this water. This water's super clear. And these bass should see that flash from quite a while away and come get it. And so here we go with my swim bait. I'm just going to cast it parallel to the bank. You know, I'm going to start off reeling it fairly fast. Just to, you know, see if they're super aggressive. If the fish are super aggressive, I can reel it a little bit faster and they'll still eat it. However, if I don't get bit like this, you know, I may have to slow it down. Slow roll it. Let it hit the bottom every now and again. And, you know, just... I'm just going to play around with my retreat and see what the bass like. Now by having this swim bait as a small compact package, I can cast it, you know, pretty much exactly where I want it. That time I actually hit it over a limb, but that's okay. That's just, that's just, that's just part of being kennel gray, okay? I get hung up a lot. It's just a fact. But with the swim bait being such a small and compact package, I can get it right in there where I want it, right in between those corners and get it right in those little pockets, which means I can get it like right up in there in the trees and just work it out. Just like, almost, almost like, Almost like a jig, except just don't let it sink as much. But it is a weedless presentation, so I don't have to worry as much with it getting hung up. As I would as much with a spinner bait with the blade on it as well. Yeah. Oh, one had it. He dropped it though. We'll get out that Nico rig. We'll catch him too. That's what we'll do. Had one bite it. He didn't want it enough. That's what the Nico rig's for. So guys, what just happened is that I threw my swim bait right over there in that little pocket. So I saw one eat it. Like, I saw his mouth grab it. But he didn't grab the whole thing and then he just spit it out. So what that means is that maybe he's not big enough to, you know, eat the whole thing. Or maybe his mood is just not like the big blade. So what we're going to do is try on the Nico rig now. Which is a whole lot more natural and feels a whole lot more. Maybe the fish felt the blade in his mouth and said, hmm, that's not necessarily feel like a shad. So what I'm going to do is put on the Nico rig, which is like 100% plastic. And with 100% plastic, it can't feel no more real. So here we go. Get out these worms right here. Find the Nico weights. And so here's my worm and here's my hook. You're not going to do a traditional wacky rig where you like just hook it in the center what you're going to do is you're going to come in right about here and you're actually going to hook it to where the hook point comes up towards the tail and i'll show you exactly how i hook it here in a second well yeah sort of like that right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to get your nail weight and uh just one of them will do you can break off a nail weight but right now i'm going to leave it in because this is a pretty deep lake so i want as much weight as i can get but all i'm going to do with it is just stick it in the head and stick it as far as it'll go. So don't leave any lead hanging out, but just stick it in there as far as it'll go, right up to the thing, just up like that right there. It's all the way in, you can't see it hanging out, but the weight is there for sure. And so this right here is how I got a hook, just the worm right there. If you can see, the hook's actually coming up through here and the weight's down here. What that's gonna do is let it fall like this, like my leg's the bottom. It's gonna fall down like that right there and stay like that. And whenever you pull it, it's gonna jerk up and then fall back down and jerk up and fall back down. So basically it's a wacky rig, except it's a vertical wacky rig that spends most of its time in deeper water on the bottom hopping like that. So it's it's honestly something that a lot of bass don't see. If maybe you're at a public pond and you know that like everybody uses a wacky rig Cinco, like use a Nico rig Cinco and it's just something that the bass don't see like 
ever. Like not many people at all uses a Nika rig. It's sort of like a hidden secret. But this month in the MTB box, it gets you set up and you know, you can go out there and do it. Gives you everything you need, the nail weights, the hook, the worms, gives you perfectly. And guys, if you're thinking about getting the MTB box, use my promo code, it's Grey Gang. It'll get you like $10 off your first box. And that's definitely a good little discount. So if you're wanting one, the link and my promo code is in the description. Yep, there he is, got him. Oh yeah, got him there. He's not a giant. But he is a bass on the Nico rig. And there's a boat coming right up behind me, so, you know, sorry. Oh, there he goes. Looks like a nice little spotted bass. I honestly think he's a keeper, too. Like, he's maybe, he's, well, he's only got to be 12 inches, but, hey, that's what the MTB box is. It's even got a ruler in here. But, uh, yeah, we'll use the ruler right here. It just folds out just like this. Got the big ruler thing. Let's see how much he's going to be. Um, He's definitely 12 inches. He's like 12 and a half, 12, 13, something like that. But, uh, nice little spotted bass. Just like I said, guys. We'll let him go, and then I'll talk about it. But, uh, just like I said, they cannot resist the Nico rig. Threw the swim bait in there. He bit the tail, then he spit it out. Didn't necessarily love it. I said, hey. I know exactly what I need to do. Put on the Nico rig, first pitch in there. Whoop. We ain't got him. So yeah, guys, basically if like a fish has, you know, the minimum desire to eat and he sees a Nico rig, he's gonna eat the Dakburn thing. He gonna eat it. When if maybe you threw a big bulky jig in there or maybe a big old rattling crankbait, he may not, you know, he may not want it. He may not want to put out the energy to go eat it and attack it. But if you just put a little harmless little Nico rig, it's so helpless. It's a worm. He's gonna eat it. It's so easy. You walk up and slurp it in. And then again, that's why it's called a finesse technique. Let's keep on covering water and maybe we can get us another one right here. There he is. I don't know how big he is. He's not a giant, but he is a fish. There he is. Looks like he's another 12 incher. And he's another one that flopped off. The last one flopped off just like this and did. This one's actually been, looks like he's actually been attacked by maybe a gar. There's a lot of gar in this lake. This guy may have been attacked right here recently. Look at him right there. He's been... He's definitely been attacked by something. I don't know what, but another little spotted bass. He may be a keeper. The keeper limits 12 inches. He may, he may have been 12 inches. I ain't sure though. But anyways, because I'm not exactly an FLW pro, I'm not a good enough fisherman to, you know, finish the entire video at the lake. So the next few parts of this video is going to be pond hopping. Now this is my pond, you know. We started here once before and we did catch a pretty nice bass. Like I've said many times about this pond, there's not many fish in here. However, the ones that are in here... They're stinking macho giants. Like, I'm talking, they're bigger round than my head, okay? But, uh, the bait I'm using, uh, this one right here, see, it's like a, I think it's called a flash bang, and, uh, it's a little swim bait, too. That's what we're gonna be using straight out of the MTB box. I couldn't convince a bass to eat it at the lake. Or, wait, actually, I did convince a bass to eat it at the lake. I just didn't get the hook set on him. But I couldn't catch one at the lake on it. But I'm pretty sure our odds are a whole lot higher over here at this pond. Or the next pond we're heading to. I'm a legend. Oh, backlash. This is always a good way to start off my day. But you know what they say. A backlash a day keeps the tournament wins away. That uh, may be a good reason why I've never won a tournament. Like, ever. Long story short, I didn't catch a fish here. On to the next pond. And now we have switched locations over here to this pond. And we're going to see how the flash bang, well, you know. We're going to see how these bass right here react to it's it. It's a proven fact there's more bass in this pond. And, well... I have a lot of history with them. I've been fishing here for quite a few years now. Up oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my goodness. That is a good one there. That is not what I was expecting, but I'll definitely take it. Right here on the flash banging. Yeah, he's a good one. Not gonna lie, guys. This is a good little bass, too. I was parallel on the bank with this little swim bait apparatus thing, and boom. Got him, boys. Got him. Definitely one of the bigger ones in the pond. I mean, it's not a giant, but bro, it's a good fish. But as you can see right here, this right here is a bank, and there's actually riprap that goes on the bottom of this bank. I threw it down at the end of the bank, started paralleling. I saw a weight go at it. I knew that was a bass heading toward it. He took it in. I let him eat it for a second, and then boom, got him. On to the next one. And the good thing is that I just got here, too. There he is. Yeah, not a monster, but one again. Oh, the flashback. Oh, okay. Well, he decided to jump off anyways. That's that's cool. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Not a monster, but a bass is a bass. See ya. And one thing y'all didn't see is that just a second ago, I sort of, you know, banged the flash bang off of a sycamore really hard. And, well, yeah, the flash came off of the flash bang. So, I mean, I guess now you can just call this the 
bang, I guess. So now I'm just fishing with the bang, not the flash bang, but now I'm just fishing with the bang. Still capable of catching fish though. And once again, I have lost track of time and it is dark outside. I mean, to be honest guys, I don't think my brain has understood yet that we're getting closer and closer to winter, which means it doesn't get dark at nine o'clock anymore. Like right now, it's seven-ish o'clock and it's already dark outside. Not too dark for this camera but way too dark for the GoPro. Before I let you guys go, I just want to remind you that if you're maybe, you know, thinking about getting an MTB box, use this code right here, Grey Game, and get $10 off your first box. And if you get the original box, it's only 15. So that $10 off only makes your first box $5. And then, you know, if you like it, keep doing it. But if you don't like it, it's easy. You just cancel. So go ahead, use my pro on code, try it out, see what you think about it, and then you can go from there. But besides that, hey boys, I'll see you later, Grey Gang. See ya. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.